Hello and welcome to this new video. Um, today I'm going to solve this case which is from last year Road to Las Vegas Battle series. Uh, it was the first one, actually it's a very hard one, designed by, by Peter Charles. Uh, I never solved this case fully so I always end up struggling with level 4 and 5. Let's see if today uh, for some reason I'm going to, to solve it uh, top to bottom. So basically uh, the the case is called Wacamole, uh, and um, consists in this grid uh, 15 times 15 uh, big grid in which you have moles each mole has assigned a, a value a number as you can see uh, and when you hit that mole you you score the number of points uh, that are assigned to, to that mole. But <clears throat> there are some special rules uh, which complicates which complicate the, the game a bit. So first rule is the multiplier only applies to level 3 to 5 uh, will cause the points for the next mole you hit to be multiplied by x. Uh, multipliers can stack for example at times um, yeah times 2 followed by times 3 will multiply the next mole by 6 and will apply even if there are blanks selected in between uh, multipliers from a specific starting cell can only be applied once in a game so once you have used it uh, you cannot use it again the reset basically uh, sets your points back to zero and we remove any non-played multipliers okay uh, again, you use it the first time and then it's gone. Reversal, uh, WV, only applies in level 5. Hitting a reversal will change the shifting of the board uh, after each hit into the opposite direction. Uh, and that's quite hard uh, because the problem is in level 4 to 5, the grid will shift one cell in the direction based on the hit cell as noted to the right. So basically, if you hit a cell between A1 to E5, so basically the upper left portion of the grid, the, uh, the grid will shift one cell up left, uh, up, up right, and so on. So that's quite hard to model. Uh, having said that, let's start. So what does the listed cell contain in the Wacomore grid? Well, this is quite easy because this is simply an indirect of grid uh, and the... Uh, and the cell and basically that's it uh, how many points are earned by eating the 20 cells in the listed orders I've already imported my uh, uh, solver worksheet let's leverage example 2 uh, I'm going to text split this based on semicolon for the rows uh, it is asking how many points multipliers resets and reverse do not apply so basically you just need to count the values for each mole uh, I'm going to do an indirect of um, grid and this uh, quite interesting what is going on maybe it doesn't work with the array yeah I don't know why uh, and then I want to extra numbers here so basically it's like this and I'm going to throw an if error to say zero if there are no points assigned so this will result in 395 points which is actually not right uh, multiplier reset service do not apply and grid does not shift uh, okay sure I don't need to consider those so let's say if left of this equals M so that's a mole I'm going to say that I want extra numbers otherwise I will say zero and in this case uh, I need to reference this actually okay 3 at 4 which is right uh, let's do the sum of this let's build the data table 
I'm solving for level 2 and it should be it okay so level 3 how many points are earned by hitting the 30 cells in the listed order reverses do not apply in, uh, in this level and the grid does not shift however resets and multipliers should now be added to your model logic on level 3 okay uh, so let's go for example 3 so cell content points Example 3, first of all we have 10 more hits, okay, um, well, let's say multiplier if uh, left of this equals x, it will be extra numbers of this, otherwise is one so i want a multiplier of one if there are uh if there is no multiplier otherwise i will multiply for the corresponding number um then i will need the reset so if this equals rr it's one otherwise it's zero uh valid Uh, or this and mm. because I want to exclude the uh, multipliers I've already used if this equals one it's one otherwise or this equals this uh, it's zero otherwise is one to one and I want to lock like this If this equals one, yeah, maybe that's ifs. Okay, so everyone is valid, and then I will do the same thing for the reset. So I'm saying that this reset is not valid because that's not the first time I've hit it, but that's a reversal, so that's okay, I guess. <coughs> okay. Uh, So mod cumulative. So that is uh, that will be in this case just this. Otherwise, if is very tricky to model this logic because I need to increase this uh, going forward but I need to reset it either when I hit the reset or where I e when I use the multiplier actually mm. so using a multiplier means that this might be one points are 
greater than zero and the previous one is greater than one so ifs and this greater than one this greater than zero this equals one that's it I think it will be if this equals one is this as well as is one uh, if the previous one is a reset this equals one this equals one if this equals one is this otherwise is one true this will be this times if this equals one this otherwise one uh, I don't know let's see um, mm, 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 mm. that's a mess actually mm, zero doesn't look like a valid result so uh, it's not going to be this okay this equals one Okay, uh, lost one signing the formula, and so the expected result for this is 138. So points accumulated. That will be this, then this, if and. this equals one this equals one is zero then what is this plus this times this one and thirty eight seems right um let's try it right away Let's update. Okay, there is one error actually, which is the second game, game 32. Let's see what is going on. Mm, so I hit 13 and that's 13. I hit 29 and that's it. I hit 31 and that's it. I hit 59 and that's it. I hit reset and it goes bust and 10 62 reset again and that's zero this is a different reset uh 012 012 okay because 012 is actually valid one that should not be a valid one why is this going one in value r36 was one one No, 
that's wrong logic. Uh, oh nine. That's one. That's one. Otherwise. That's equal one. I need to say that and it's like this. Okay. And like this, okay. So sixty three, twenty one, three. Have the reset. Let's recalculate. I broke the first one actually. Uh, so 31. Luckily, the first three numbers you can spot the errors in the summation because you have to select the actual number between five different choices. Uh, so basically, it's nothing. So I have a times three times two times three times three again you have this number was actually quite similar because it was three one two one one It has to do with the validity of the um, so 95 is not impacting because that's not valid but this is considered just for the for the multipliers so times 3 is valid reset Uh, seems right to be honest. A seventeen, a seventeen one. It's zero. Otherwise, it's t plus q times n. Hmm. Because here we're then saying Q9 is greater than 1. Uh, that's the problem actually. So if is greater than one yeah that was also the logic I was using before but not properly applied so now it should be correct I am 18 minutes in oh come on 21 again I've broken again this. Uh, that's not valid, come on. Ah, okay, because this is different, so... Uh, 
that's equal okay that's greater than because that's the reset which needs to be greater than one this is equal to one so now it should be 100% right okay done uh, level four it's very hard so let's try first to address the bonus one and two I will say which cell is the most frequently selected across all levels uh, I have something new to, to, to show actually uh, as always <laughs> credits to to dear Mui that helped me develop this uh, um, this logic which I was struggling with uh, so it is asking which cell is the most frequently selected across all levels uh, one approach would be to copy and paste everything of this or work here in the original worksheet. I've developed my own lambda, which is uh, the get levels data. I want all levels to 1 to 100. Uh, actually, this is the raw data associated with each level. I'm going to text split uh, this based on semicolon. And I'm going to uh, what is going on? Uh, yes, but without the array, otherwise I'm not going to... Okay, everything set. And then I have another lambda which says occurrence count of this stuff here which basically does the unique of every cell and then also counts the occurrence. So it's already sorted. So M3 is selected 23 times. It is asking uh, which cell is the most frequently. So it would be M3. And that's right. And it saved me probably a couple of minutes. What is the total number of times the grid does not shift in level four? Okay, uh, actually this can be solved without solving level four because as you can see here, uh, the grid does not shift if you hit cells from F6 to J10. Uh, so you can basically, oh, I'm going to, to delete this to have extra space, but I hope you appreciated that approach. So if I do, if I do example four, uh you can see the list is the same i'm interested in cell f6 to j10 which is actually those ones um so what i could do is uh mm, 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 is to do this lock the row and this lock the column that should be right i'm going to call to call those and i'm going to copy this thing here and then i'm going to say count ifs of this this sum Okay, that's a three. Four excluding examples. I'm going to reference this one. I'm going to build again the data table. And level four asks me for actually 84 times the grid does not shift, hopefully, and that's right. So now I can go to try and tackle level four. Uh, let me get rid of this thing here. Okay. Um, how many points are earned by hitting the 30 cells in the listed orders? Reverses do not apply in this level and the grid shifts by one in the appropriate direction with each hit. First of all, I think I'm going to copy this. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened again. <laughs> Create a copy. Uh, okay. And let me call it shifts. Mm, 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 mm. 
I don't need this. I don't need this. I think I will need this. So shift direction, it will be to copy and paste quickly but anyway uh, that will be f1 to j5 oh god okay this is k1 to o5 this is a6 to E ten none in the middle like this and I'm assuming a eleven okay okay and okay so it means that if I hit for example in this uh, upper left section the grid will shift one left one up so what was originally cell c3 will move here to b2 we'll take a moment to digest <laughs> this this logic uh, okay the tricky thing the trick trips me up and is that you need to keep track of where you hit in order to exclude what is not valid anymore and I don't understand if I need to reference the original cell which I, which I think is the easiest thing to do so in this case cell B2 will be the original C3 Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's say that in the rect of shifts and this is my shift in direction, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, then I want our two offset of this and this is the row offset and this is the column offset let me try let me put any ferrer I want to throw Those are the offsets. Uh, so it means that if I hit I fifteen, I hit previously A two. Okay, so the grid shifts like this. So I fifteen, which is this. originally was something like here okay and I also need to keep track cumulative of this mm.
So I've set one one, okay, then I've set one zero, so like this. Value. So if error this, it will be the previous one. Okay, so zero zero. Uh, at this point, I want to find the original uh, the original cell hit. Because if I go minus one, minus 30 minutes, so I'm clearly out of time. But if I hit I-15, it means that it's like I'm hitting the opposite of the reverse. So what if I put a fantastic minus here? Okay, and at this point I'm going to say let. Uh, my bounds are, because I have also bounds, are of course 1 and 15. 1 and 15, okay, let, uh, so row of indirect of this and column of indirect of this. will be my star row okay so uh, it will be if plus let row plus I need to move the rows and columns because here I don't shift Shifted, I need to take this, this plus the previous one. I hope so. Uh, so let X be this plus this. If X less than one it will be 15 minus x plus one so for example if I go minus one or if I go to zero I want no so I'm minus x if I go two it will be 1514 if I go 0 minus 1 uh, if I go to minus 1 I will take 
minus two, so it's plus x actually. It's x okay. X is greater than fifteen. It will be mm, one plus x minus sixteen. True, it will be x. So for example here it I15 it's this okay and then it's the same thing for the column plus address this this four so it's J1 I15 Shift one here and one here. So apparently seems good. Uh, apparently seems good. this and I need to reference the new one actually Four eight one. Okay, guys, it this is right. <laughs> this might be the very first time I solve this, but I'm not fully confident that's going to work. And of course, it is not because I have plenty of errors. But let's see if I got at least some of them. Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, Fifty nine for some reason is completely off uh, what is going on here this is the problem uh, g10 means okay I have nothing in the first row Uh, G10 If error this Why cannot put zero and zero? Because this is going in the wrong direction. So transpose this. Okay, it might be good now. Okay, that's the first time in my life. I hope this was on video. Let's solve level four. Let's go to for level five at this point. How many points are earned by hitting the 40 cells in the listed order? All type of cells apply and the grid shifts by one in the appropriate direction. So this time the reverse apply. Think a reversal, we change the shifting the shifting of the board to two reversals. The shifting will be in the same direction. Reversal from a specific size that can only be applied once. The reversal comes in effect only starting from the next move. Okay, um, 
So basically I need to pilot in some way this offset. Uh, so reversal if this equals VV it's one otherwise it's zero. I want to check whether this is valid. So if that's V and it's not the first time in the original cell, so same logic as the reset. Mm, okay. So example five. Uh, okay, so reversals, where are you? Here, okay. So, option one, no, option one, no, no option one actually. <laughs> Uh, so it cannot be the first one. If and this equals one and this equals one, it will be minus one, otherwise one times this. No, I need to keep track of, of the sign. So sign, it will be one. If and this equals one, this equals one. It's minus one times this, otherwise it's this. So uh, here I have the reversal, I go minus one, here I have the reversal, I go plus one, but needs to be the next one. So actually I need to check for this. Uh, so, okay, and okay. And now I need to say that it's simply this times this. Uh, five, seven, five. Okay, seems right. Five seven five, which is this. Let's update and go for it. I feel quite confident. Uh, for some reason, the data table has crashed. Don't tell me <laughs> I got this to to crash the Excel. Oh no. Okay, uh, I think we have good news uh, in terms of logic. That's not quite good news in terms of um, what has happened with my with my worksheet, uh, because if this uh, was to happen during a battle, that would be a, a huge problem. Okay, I saved the work workbook and again my uh, Excel froze so. Uh, apparently there's something not really going well with uh, I don't know the solver worksheet or whatever again after some minutes of waiting so uh, not sure it's already automatic okay uh, I'm going to be able to solve this from a computational point of view because the the, the question is not so hard so 
it's just saying uh, that you need to uh, solve uh the level five hitting the same cell um 20 consecutive times and see which cell gives you the the highest number of points so basically what you can do is to copy this worksheet and instead of having this you could say a1 sorry a1 say this is wrapped this 20 um, or more simply twenty times so well less okay Okay, and then you just need to see how many points you get. So you can get rid of this thing. You can say uh, Instead of having F1, let's have this. So O1 will be the last one. Okay, and I will say to, to call this and you want the points okay goes in error why so o2 goes in error That is going to say minus seventeen minus fifteen. Okay. Can I just say the the max this and one? So max of this two four nine eight. Uh, Plus index of this match this here zero G thirteen. Let's see. Okay, that's right. Okay, uh, I'm quite uh, pleased with this performance. 
uh, that's the first time I solved this case fully so it means I'm improving so that's always a good news time wise it has been <laughs> quite long uh, I don't know how long because I needed to stop two times due to Excel freezing but anyway for sure uh, longer than the time allocation of 30 minutes I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, we will see you in the next video bye